2015 World Tour is on. The Santos Tour Down Under kicked off today with a 133 kilometer stage from Tanunda to Campbelltown. The crowds flocked to see pre-race favourite Marcel Kittel along with cycling legend Kidel Evans riding his 10th and final Tour Down Under as he heads towards retirement. Perfect race conditions greeted the riders as they rolled out of Tanunda and in front of huge crowds. A strong break of four riders formed in the early stages. Louis Wester of Astana was joined by Orica's Luke Durbridge, Maxim Belkov of Katusha, and eventually Jack Bobridge, riding for the UniSA composite team. Bobridge is busy preparing for his upcoming hour record attempt next Saturday in Melbourne and was particularly active in the breakaway. He took maximum points at the first sprint of the day with just 28 kilometres raced. Roles were reversed at the second sprint though, with Durbridge pipping Belkov at the line. The four in front were kept on a tight leash by the Sky and Giant Alperson led peloton. Their maximum gap was just two and a half minutes and with 55k to go that had dipped below one minute for the first time. As the quartet arrived at the only KOM of the day, Checker Hill, it looked to be all over for them. The gap was down to just 30 seconds but a visit to the podium and a leader's jersey was on offer for the first rider over the top and a determined Bobridge looking back to his best rose to the challenge. The riders reached an incredible 100k an hour or 60 miles an hour on the descent and although the peloton looked safe and in control, far removed from the chaotic and wild style that we'd associate with Matt Stevens at similar speeds, if in fact he, he's ever reached them. With Giant Alperstein taking a back seat, the front four took advantage, pressing on and actually increasing their lead. As the kilometres ticked down, it did look like the brake had outfoxed the bunch and as they rolled into the finish straight, so it proved to be. Bobridge was the first to hit out and nobody could come round him. A fine victory then for the 25 year old and his first since the 2011 national championships. As a bonus he now leads the general points and KOM classifications. Here's what he had to say. Coming through uh, Williamstown halfway it was you know, I think it was down to 30 seconds or 40 seconds we thought you know, all the guys would pretty much given up out there so um, but then it's, again it's always games you know breakaway versus bunch all day games so um oh the, we we planned it perfect so we kept our cool when they were playing games with us and then we played the big game at the end and stayed away here's a look at the top 10 on the stage then courtesy of procyclingstats.com bonifacio of lamprey was best of the bunch who were on the same time as the winner in the end Bobridge leads Westra in the GC by four seconds, courtesy of the bonus seconds he picked up and a healthy 13 seconds lead on the overall main favourites. Join us again tomorrow for stage two's highlights. 150 slightly more undulating kilometres, taking the peloton from Unley to Stirling.